am the Divine Maverick. Hey, hey, I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along your twin flame journey. If this is your first time watching the channel, thank you so much for being here because I realize you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to spend a little time with me and I appreciate that. This is your midday snack. If you want to book a personal reading with me, I call them love and light sessions. Everything you need to know about how to book that is found down below in the description box. Go to my website, thedivinemaverick.com. Everything you need to know is there. Also, if you want to mail me stuff or anything like that, the description box is your friend. Contact me. Do whatever you need to do. I can't wait to connect with you. Thank you so much, Sunflowers, how y'all roll with a sister every month, giving of your seed, giving of your time. Thank you for the way you um, support my life and for the way you uh, encourage me to keep going forward. I love this light work I do. <laughs> out here living this light work life and um it's a blessing all right so here's a midday snack um i was meditating in the energy i have if you believe if you believe anyway i don't know what you're going to believe about but um this is about faith i know this reading is about faith y'all know what i like to use my favorite deck the gilded lenormand where is the book i mean sorry i you are the lenormand uh gilded reverie Cyril maquetti so pretty the colors um are beautiful in this card deck the card deck is beautiful and it shuffles real nice so we're gonna just um let me give it a good little shuffle right here give you some messages i keep feeling like i want to pull from this love this island time wellness right here because it's like if you believe what what do you believe you know what let's do it let's be nosy i you know what i wasn't gonna do this because i'm trying not to make it Ooh. oh my goodness all right all right all right you bought it in there oh 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 Oh, so many messages, so many messages. Let's take one at a time. Well, some of you guys have met somebody new. If you, um, if you believe that this is going to be good for you, then so, so, it, so shall it be. Here's the thing. You are the prophet over your own life. I understand divine destiny. I understand fated connections. However, just know that anything that you uh, do, any person that you meet is part of your journey. So if you met somebody new, if you believe that it's going to work out, then it will. Um, dating, getting back out there. Yeah. Some of you are just trying to figure out if you want to get back out there start dating again Ooh, ooh. oh who's at the door who's at the door somebody at the door i don't know because the dogs just barked they ran they barked and ran i don't know where they went and i'm not going to edit this video y'all know how i do so i'm keeping moving going so the phoenix um this is a card about transformation this is a card about um something probably going up in flames and then be ring born or you know if you know the story of the uh, phoenix then then you got me but this is about having a new phase as well this is also about growth uh feeling like somebody you might have said the phrase they'll never grow they'll never change well don't be so sure with the phoenix here it means that there is a changed mind there is a new phase coming there is growth that's happening those of you who are in a third party uh relationship you are you are the third party whatever you whether they married the, your person's married or in some sort of connection with um, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever the story is, or the job, whatever it is, is keeping you guys separate. If you believe that you can have this, what, new uh, phase or a rekindling, then believe that. Maybe some of you have walked away and started dating somebody new, but you still got that, oh, uh, you can't get rid of that, oh, uh, right? But anyway, that, and that's that, oh, uh, which is the attraction, the flirting, the, 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 the feeling, the temptation even of, of it, you know? All right. But some of you guys might be dealing with temptation. All right. So if you believe that's all it is, it's just temptation and nothing more than attraction and some light flirting with whatever um, person you're connecting with right now, then like I said, so be it. All right. Hey, you'll have what you say. So I'm going to just leave those messages right there. Actually, they told me just to leave these cards. Let's put them right y'all. That's what we'll do. I don't want to be looking at the seduction card the whole time. Actually, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to fan them out. I'm going to fan them out for you. Y'all can tell I didn't uh, plan this, <laughs> rethink this, plan this before. I, I feel like somebody needs to just keep, uh, I need to keep those cards out so that you can just see them. That's what I feel like I need to do. All right, so this is a good shuffle here. Let's see what the midday snack is. Snack is snack, clack, clack, snack, and lack, lack. All right. Yep, those of you who are dating, go ahead and take a chance, take a risk. You met somebody new, card number 39 says, take a chance, why not? What else are you doing? Get back out there, Take look, look take risk, take a gamble on somebody. Could be a, uh, not a Gemini. Well, I'll say that Gemini did come out. Gemini, but Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio that you could be dealing with. What about the new phase? What about the Phoenix? Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, 
mice in the house. This is right here is a nuisance. I don't know, um, probably because there were other people in your connection, their gossip, but this is like having, because if you look, the food looks delicious. The apple, the bread, you got some tea right there. You have things there, right? And those are nice little um, teapots and tea kettles and stuff like that. But you got those rats everywhere eating up things. So um, with the seven of wands, I feel like seven of wands, this is the cardomancy. The seven of wands, I feel like somebody was very guarded. And every time y'all went two steps forward, you went three steps back or whatever. But just know that card number 23 says five. Two plus three is five. That's where I get that from. Big, happy changes are on the way. All you got to do is get rid of the nuisances. And nuisances in this um, in this instant is your uh, fears, your triggers, wow. your stuff. You hear how my dog is barking? The nagging, the insecurity. If you believe that you can have this wonderful relationship then, um, and if this is not a relationship and this is like a job with you, then you got to get rid of those mice all over your bounty because here's food. This is nourishment. This is sus and this food represents, um, let's say wealth, you know what I mean? Food represents, uh, resources. You've got mice all eating up all your profits and for some of you, but eating up, you know, the happiness that you could have. All right. So just believe you have a new phase. Believe that you can get past all these triggers and all this, all the extra, all the nuisances, right? All right. Third party. Yep. Well, somebody's leaving a third party. That ship means ships are sailing. Threes are all about teamwork, collaboration. So for those of you who are in that kind of predicament, then just know that that person is doing their very, very, very best. You know how I know? Because there's mountains in the background, okay? I feel like some of them are also spiritually ascending. And then we do have the Ten of Swords, which is Gemini energy. And then I have Leo energy. I hope I didn't already call that with the... Um, the mice card, but with the uh, ship card, I do have ten of swords, which could mean the ascension, darlings. All right, so just know that somebody is um, your person is, is doing their very darndest to make their way to you. And some of you, they may be coming in March. You may see your person in the month of March because that number three out there was screaming at me. And your person could even be born in October, or maybe you're born in October. Let's put another one on date. Boom, midday snack. All right, so yeah, you need to follow your true north. Your inner compass is telling you that not card number 42 that six is here inner compass is telling you that it's time for you to get back out there it's time for you to make a uh, a change if you are were afraid of dating in the past then you need to start dating in the future okay the time is now for others of you you need to plan or set a date for what i don't know but you need if, if this is resonating with you and you're like i need to figure out when i'm going to do such and such then this is your card to say is follow your heart follow your true north your heart will never lie if y'all hear that noise in the background y'all we have ice here on the east coast and so every time my heating system starts to kick up the ice on the blades make a, like a kaka 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 sound you know and that's funny cuz i'm getting to the mice card talking about those nuisances right but let me hurry this up. Okay, let me get this. All right. Boom. Yep. So again, so you got nuisances, triggers, um, defensiveness, uh, wearing a mask, somebody not speaking their feelings. And then on top of that, you got uh, manipulation. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very guarded, very, very manipulative. They have been in the past. I don't know why the snake in, the, in this garden setting is making me think about the past, but I do think about the great fall. That's just par for the courts. Anyway, that's the fall in nature. I do have um, a message that this person has is a pattern, has been patterned with this, but with the queen of wands out here, I don't know, man. You could be dealing with a Leo, not a Leo, yes, a Leo, but you probably are aware of all this manipulation and all you need to do is figure out how to get past it. Um, you have to believe, right, that you can do it. You have to believe that you can get past all the manipulation. You've already identified it, right? It's been a pattern. It's not new. So, you know, Queen of Wands, that mess and just, you know, level up. I don't know if you need to light candles. I don't know if you need to meditate more. I don't know if you need to, I don't know, but you know what you need to do. You need, you need to step in your power. That's one thing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All right. Seduction card. Give me another one on third. Oh, three wanted to come out for that. Oh, so we're going to leave that card alone because we're good. Third party people. It's over. It's over now. 
Number eight, that's all about um, new beginnings. That's all about stepping in authority and power. You got a very loyal person you're dealing with. They could have been born in, they could be born in September or um, be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you, Pisces season. Hi, y'all. But we do have the um, Ten of Cups here. This person is very, very um, loyal to you. This person is very, very committed. And that's why they stayed in that situation they were in for so long. For some, almost nearly 24 years or some 18 years. But here you are. They are literally clearing, clearing with they need to clear to get to you. Um, uh, there's a, there's your ending because it's about true love. Knight of Cups is here as well. So that's beautiful energy. And uh, Nine of Swords are going to come out of all that anxiety. So don't be anxious and worried about this right here. If you believe, <laughs> it's, it's here. The cards are showing you. This is uh, very fortuitous. Let's get one more on the date card and then I'm going to get out of here from y'all's hair. All right. Yes. So you got a stable, solid connection. Um, headed towards you if you're ready to get back out there. For some of you, you do need to plan and set a date when somebody is going to move in. It could possibly be the month of April. Um, also, with the um, King of Cups, you we got Queen and the King of Cups out here. Yes, yeah, somebody's leaving a situation and moving in with you probably around April, or you're going to be, uh, you're going to know about this by April. That is definitely um, the card for plan to set a date, if you believe that. And for the rest of you who are going to get back out there, then you're headed for something very solid. The next person that you meet is going to be a very, very stable, solid connection. All right. All right. Very homey. Could be a cancer. All right. Okay. So Phoenix card. Let's talk about these nuisances. Yeah. With this card right here for your transformation and for your growth and your change to happen, if this Phoenix to actually happen, you need to get rid of the, like I said, deal with the triggers. You got to go within. This is my go deep down card. This is my Virgo energy and the card number 41. That's of course our five. If you do that, fives are about dealing with the challenges so that you can move forward into, into change or much, much calmer waters because the number six into row, uh, the six of swords, uh, particularly is what I'm seeing is about moving. You go through the changes to, in order to move to a more serene place. So like I said, out of this deception, manipulation, all of this, your intuition told you as such that was going on. So now you know what the stuff is. It doesn't mean that you can't have a new beginning. You can't rekindle this or have a transformation in the relationship. But the important thing is you got to believe it though. So if you are thinking toxic thoughts and thinking that it won't happen and somebody will never change and da 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 da, then you know, that's what's going to happen. All right. You're going to keep getting the same thing. Bottom of the deck is the card number 33. That's another six. All right. And then we also have the eight of uh, swords. So get out of your mind. Get out of the self-imposed prison. You are not stuck. You are not stupid. You are not trapped. You are simply a person who is so madly in love with another person. Deal with it. All right. And open your heart. Okay. Somebody has the key to your heart and you know who it is. You know exactly who it is. It could be an um, air sign. But you are that delicate rose. You are that flower. And just open yourself up to love because it looks good. These cards look good. Let me get you one card, guys, from the Romance Angels. And then we're going to get up out of chum. Think about the person you're thinking about. <laughs> thinking about the person. Just do that while I get this card out. Think about that person. Think about that person. Here's the message. Thank you. Put that right there. Haha, <laughs> chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction. Those of you who are got about to get out and date and you have somebody new, yes. And those of you who are getting rid of the the crap, crapola in your relationship, hoping for a new beginning, there is a strong magnetic attraction. Stop trying to deny it. There's chemistry there. And those of you who are somebody just kicked rocks and your loyal person is coming in, here's why. Because they just absolutely adore you. I'm hearing Prince. <laughs> adore until the end of time i'll be there for you <laughs> you own my heart and mind i truly oh <laughs> i love this card listen archangel shamwell is on the scene helping you out I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Either way, you guys, you have help coming in. All right, so be encouraged. I hope y'all enjoyed your midday snack. Yum, yum. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to life. Until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Mwah.